everyone. So we have a video on how you can draw with microbes. Um, so for this video, we use a Photobacterium phosphorium, which is, um, as you can see in this picture, quite luminescent in the dark. It glows this nice kind of greenish, bluish color. Um, so in this picture was just the cultures just in the dark room that I took a picture of and I thought it looked really cool. Um, so for in microbiology, there's a lot of um, microbiologists who just in their free time like to make um, agar art. Uh, they kind of take plates and they streak bacteria onto, uh, onto the plates to form um, really amazing designs. Some of them are really, really beautiful. Um, and you can use like cult uh, bacterial cultures that have uh, specific colors or even textures to make the different designs. Um, and there's also ways to uh, mess with the genomes of bacteria to make them fluoresce a specific color. So you can use um, either naturally occurring ones, like the photobacterium phosphorium that we used, or artificially uh, colored bacteria. And um, if you want to see lots of examples of the agar art, you can go to um, the ASM website and look for the agar art there. I think they have a competition every year um, for the most, um, for the best auger art that their microbiologists can create. And so a little bit about the Photobacterium phosphorium. Um, it's an organism that's found on marine fish, and it forms this luminescence as um, it's an oxygen-dependent reaction. So in this picture, which we took from um, the dark room in lab, you can see in a flask, um, oxygen is only going to be at the top level of the flask, and so the bottom part of the liquid culture is going to be um, anaerobic, or there's not going to be any oxygen there. So just this small band at the top of where the oxygen is is going to be um, light, uh, lighted up, and so you can see that in this picture. So this organism lights up just in the dark. It doesn't require any special lights or fluorescence to see the light that's emitted from the organism. Um, this organism is also psychrophilic, so that means it likes the cold. So when we incubated the bacteria for this uh, project, we didn't put it in um, an incubator or anything. We actually put it in the refrigerator. So to make our agar art that you'll see in a little bit, we first had to make the paint or the um, solution to um, streak onto the plates with our swabs. So to do that, we took some of the culture medium first and um, put it in some vials and then picked up uh, from the uh, plates some parts of the colonies from of photobacterium and mixed it into the um, culture medium vials. And then to make the letters that you'll see in a little bit, we first filled out the whole plate with bacterium. So we took a swab and covered the whole entire plate with with, uh, with our paint, so to say. Um, and then to make the designs, we, as you can see here, we drew on some butcher paper, or Emma did, our uh, president drew on butcher paper uh, design, and then we took plates and placed it over the design to fill it up. And then we traced over with our culture medium to uh, fill out that design. And then we waited uh, for 24 hours for the microbes to grow, and then we came back the next day to take the pictures. And so here you can see the pictures that we took. Um, in this first one, you can see our design in the light when it's not emitting, or when we can't see the uh, luminescent, the luminescence that the organism is emitting. And then you can see it's emitting some as the light goes down. And then in the dark, you can really, really see the uh, luminescence of these bacteria and uh, the beautiful designs that our president created. And so here's our first design, a coronavirus, because um, that is part of the time that we are living in. Um, and then we have a collection of microbes um, of various kinds. It looks like an E. coli and a chain of them and some little clusters of microbes. And then we have a very nice microscope 
Um, I love to look at microbes under the microscope. And then, as always, go Ags! <laughs> and we would like to uh, send sincere thank yous to the professors that helped with this project. Uh, Dr. Martin helped with um, the photobacterium cultures and advised Emma and myself on how to form the auger art and helped us with quite a bit of it too. And then Dr. Bragg helped us take the pictures. Um, and we'd also like to send a huge thank you to the prep staff for putting together all of the lab equipment for us to use and just getting things ready for us to be there. Thank you so much.